see we know that the proton pump inhibitors have changed the scenario of the management of acid peptic disease and uh, GRD which are the more common apogee issues not only in India all over the world GRD is one problem which is prevalent in almost 20 to 25 percent of, of the entire population so the volume is so big and it is our duty to understand the pathophysiology and treat them better so coming to the PPI see initially the omeprazole is the one which is introduced in the first place subsequently pantoprazole, rabiprazole, lansprazole so one by one a lot of molecules have come the mechanism of action is almost the same for all the PPI it is to block the proton pumps which is secreting the hydrochloric acid though the mechanism of action is the same for all the PPIs the pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics are slightly different from each other today we are uh, focusing our attention on rabiprazole because the rabiprazole stands out in my practice in personal experience I find a lot of difference between the other PPIs and rabiprazole and if I look at it why it is so I can understand the efficacy how the absorption and early activation in the stomach causes a prolonged action and very in short period of time it is coming into effect in suppressing the symptoms as far as the acute gastritis part of it is concerned even in long term when comparing with other I mean pantoprazole or other PPI rabiprazole stands out though the pantoprazole is the gold standard as of now many people prefer that because <clears throat> this is this is introduced at a point of time where the omeprazole has slowly gone out and then the new thing has come and people start using it but when rabiprazole comes the rabiprazole and pantoprazole when compared by so many studies one such study i can quote is the shakir and colleagues have done a gallup survey in which thousand individuals have been observed in which the rabiprazole is more effective in controlling the symptoms particularly in grd more so in patients with grd with nocturnal symptoms we all know that even if you take ppi most of the indian patients suffer a night chest burns hot burns because of the nocturnal acid breakthrough for reasons not known from 9 pm to 5 am at least for 60 minutes there is a lapse of action of the ppi the nocturnal acid goes up the ph is going up so initially we have been giving an additional dose of H2 blockers to counter that but when you give rabiprazole when compared to other PPAs particularly pantoprazole the study the observation has shown us the rabi when you give rabiprazole one dose in the morning there is no need to supplement any other H2 blockers because the 24 hour coverage is better with rabiprazole so this is how uh, we, we pick out the rabiprazole which is slightly better more advantageous than pantoprazole. For this question, I can also quote another uh, study done by <coughs> the Panto Flikova and colleagues. They have done actually single dose crossover study, single dose. They prepared the patients for nearly 48 weeks. They washed out all the PPA that they have been taking. And they have chosen the patient and given them just single dose and observed them how much of reduction of acid and how many patients the ph is more than four for how much of, how much of time when they stuck and compared rabiprazole pantoprazole omeprazole lansoprazole all these molecules individually they have observed that the rabiprazole control maintenance of pH above 4 both in the esophagus as well as, as well as in the stomach for prolonged time both in the daytime as well as in the night 
and overall 24 hours observation all this is in favor of rabiprazole than the other ppx so this particular study is though the number is less is about less number of patients they have studied but it was well structured well constructed and well observed that's why i can definitely vouch on this study and then recommend that rabiprazole single dose in the morning can take care of both of both acid secretions in the stomach as an exposure in the esophagus as well both in daytime night and overall 24 hours as i said earlier the incidence of grd is too much 25% in the entire population of country imagine how many people should only the degree varies severity varies that's why we need to have a good ppi to suppress the symptoms to protect them from developing esophageal complications and extra esophageal complications esophageal complications are reflex esophagitis stricture barrett's esophagus dysplasia malignancy and all that extra esophageal is recurrent pharyngitis laryngitis otitis media recurrent sinusitis micro aspirations into the lungs can produce severe uh, no asthmatic attacks and you know, uh, wheezing and the flooding of uh, the oral cavity can erode the dental enamel so so many things that can happen just by 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 uh, the reflux of the acid from the stomach onto the esophagus so <clears throat> we need a very good ppi which will take care of this particular disease so that the symptom uh, response will be better this is also uh, important for the clinician's point of view because most of the patients coming to you with a lot of hope and you know uh, and we love to you know uh, treat them well <clears throat> and when you compare it with other uh, ppi in this regard the dosage is initially we can give up to 20 mg od then bd for four weeks then we can slowly taper it off the long term that we can give is up to two years there are studies which are data even up to five years the safety profile is there when come when come coming to the pharmacodynamics see the coip to one c is the uh, the the chemical that you know that that need for that for for the metabolism of this particular drug is very less so it does not involve in the man, in metabolism of certain drugs like aspirin clopidogrel so it is cardiac safety is more though the safety in pregnancy is not well established though the data is not saying should not be given but still it should not be preferred in young children in in children we need not give rabiprazole <clears throat> in cardiac patients who have aspirin and clopidogrel there is nothing wrong you can give and patients who have arrhythmias <clears throat> seizure disorders and it, since it, the the ppa can cause hypermagnesemia and it can even lead on to <clears throat> bone problems kidney problems and sometimes even arrhythmias and heart attack all these instances when compared to other ppi the rabiprazole causes very less even if you give it for more than 2 years this is the data available so yes yeah, so a physician or a clinician can confidently prescribe rabiprazole over other ppa this is what my personal opinion <laughs>